Hey everybody, I'm Dark Balls Day. I'm glad you could join me and welcome to XCOM Enemy Within. Now, a video may or may not have gone up by now of me and Ruby playing XCOM. She didn't exactly care for it, so I decided I'm going to do my own campaign. And I am going to be playing with normal normal rules on classic difficulty because I'm a little more experienced in XCOM and we're going to see how things go so without further ado XCOM let's go no I don't want the tutorial thank you Those who play with the devil's toys will be brought by degrees to wield his sword. About the minster fuller. Yes, cluster around the glowing green alien object from the sky. Yes, touch it. That seems very smart. This is a test of the emergency broadcast system. Hello, Commander. In light of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Good luck, Commander. within okay starting nation let's see I mean foundry projects can be expensive uh, yeah let's go with Asia why not? We're heading into China for the next operation. That object is different from the others. It does not appear to be the same type of pot we've seen used by the aliens during their abduction operations. We may gain new insights if we recover it. Thanks, Fallen. Be advised, Commander. Intel confirms enemy activity okay. in this area. Let's Start moving up. This appears to be a containment device of some Grab kind. the mound. It has an internal self-destruct mechanism. Overwatch the and then although it must have already been disabled somehow. There may be additional canisters like this one in the area. The more we can recover, the more we'll learn about what's inside them. Any others you find may still have operational self-destruct modules. Be careful. Let's move everybody up. Okay. 
and see about finding some aliens. Let's, uh, bring you up over here. And see what we're dealing with. Huh. So, the safety of that double cover, and full cover, oh, I should probably start explaining the game if you don't understand it already. So, this is XCOM, basically it's a turn-based tactical shooter where you're defending the earth from alien invaders and it has it's, it's kind of unique I mean there have been other games like it but XCOM it's kind of a unique game double time uh, I'm currently moving up with my soldiers to, oh, there's meld over there. There it is. You can see it through the fog. I am moving up currently to try to get the meld resource and kill, a, kill any uh, enemies I come across. So you can see by the shield icons against cover, uh, this is full cover, which gives you a full defensive bonus, and this is partial cover, which gives you partial defensive bonus. And basically, more defense doesn't translate into less damage, it translates into less chance of getting hit. which basically means cover is a life in XCOM. If you're not on cover, you're probably gonna die. If you get flanked, you're probably gonna die. Thanks, Shen. We still got six turns left, so we don't have to rush it. I'm on the move. Probably won't rush it, even if it, if that would be the best option. I'm a little bit cautious. Uh. move up here and see what we got. Affirmative. 
Hello? I think it's actually fairly safe to move up here. On Earth. We're witnessing something never before seen in recorded history. Yeah, too bad they don't come in peace. Uh, what have we got to work with? Well, she should be fine, because she's in full cover. Uh, I've already alerted the enemy, so I don't think there's much point in avoiding attracting attention anymore. Overwatch. So Overwatch basically it gives you a free shot on an alien if it moves during their turn. So it's fairly useful. I think I'm gonna move bad dash? I don't think that's a dash. I don't think it is the dash. Is it? Oh, hi. And that's why you don't dash into the fog of war. If I had done that, I would have problems right now. I can just move him to a safer location. And I can actually flank yes, this guy. Which gives me a greater chance to hit and a greater chance to get critical. So, let's take the shot. Boom, dead. Their weapons appear to self-destruct when the operator dies. We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for our own development programs. Okay, that's a dash. That is a dash to get up there. And I don't think I want to do that. There's no reason I need to do that. So I'm actually... Well, you know what? Actually, it will be full cover, and the enemy is going to come from that direction. So, he should be alright. Okay. Collect that mail. And now, what? That should provide us with an ample supply of this substance for analysis. But remove his cover. Hi, how do you feel with no defense to cower behind? Um, I am going to move you over here and take the shot. Miss. That's XCOM, baby. Fortunately, I have three chances at that. Day. And I only needed two. So... 
with all the melt collected, we have no reason to rush into danger. So, we're actually gonna carefully advance around. And see if we can figure out where the last aliens are hiding. Actually... Huh... Move you up here first. Okay. And that should be safe. You know what? I'm gonna just be safer. Move up to the cover that isn't near a fire. You can move up here. Uh, you... You know what? Let's come in from two directions. See what we can do with that. Oh, hi! So, two aliens who are just standing there. Okay, there they go. There they go. Oh boy. The well, side. fortunately, uh, he didn't get to shoot because he didn't see her before he moved. He, like, dashed out to this location, so she is safe from him. He is not on over much, so I'm actually going to move into full cover and then take a shot at him, a flanking shot, and not kill him. Okay. Yes, Commander. You, dude. Come around here, and you know what? Go on over, watch. Pin him down. Do you guys keep advancing up around here? Uh, you actually go on over, watch, and you dash up here to this full cover. And there we go. Adjusting sights. Oh boy. Does he still have cover? I can't tell. Yes, he does. So, we should be fine on that. Although... We can probably move up and flank him. It require getting out of that cover. You know what? We'll just take the easy shot. On this guy. And and now he is out of the way. Uh, can you move up here? Actually, get behind I'm on the move. his cover. Here and you, dude. Uh, also, get up here behind full cover. Huh. 
maybe stay where you are and pin down Mr. Sectoid. And of course, he shot at you. You know what? It doesn't matter. Because you be dead. Or not. Uh, fortunately, I got a bunch of soldiers to focus on this one guy. Let's see if you can miss with a 100% chance. To the head. Recovering this material should give us a leg up on whatever it is the aliens are developing. I'm sure the doctors will be eager to get started. Thanks, Bradford. Excellent on all counts. We got a wounded soldier, but nothing worse. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Got it. Okay, let's see all we've got. We got the sniper. Most snipers specialize in dealing massive amounts of damage from afar, but without sufficient training, they're vulnerable in close combat situations. With headshot, which gives, as you can see, a 30% increase to critical chance, and it has a two turn cooldown. Extra damage on critical hits as well, based on sniper's range. I'll be there in a minute. The assault class serves as our front line. They're the first ones into a fight, and the last ones out. So assault is essentially they're essentially the guys that run up and shotgun guys in the face. Uh, run and gun allows Commander firing our Overwatch after dashing, labs. which is normally not possible. So that's exceptionally useful. Just like it sounds, the support class provides that intangible edge our squads need. They make everyone around them better. Support with smoke grenade, 20% increase to defense. I assume it's 20%, it says plus 20. Uh, basically, making us harder for the enemy to hit, which is always nice. They're also better suited to when they level up. They can be upgraded to, the to be Commander to the research labs. better suited for using med kits. The heavy weapons specialist provides a crucial service to the squad. With the rocket launcher in tow, there are demolitions experts. And of course, heavy with the rocket launcher. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order. Commander. The heavy with the rocket launcher in the barracks. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlan. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. Okie dokie. Uh, let's see. What do we want? Commander to engineering. Commander to engineering. I'm gonna go with Xenobiology, I think. I agree, that does 
does seem to be the most pressing of our current research options. We'll begin immediately. I will notify you when a complete report is available. Ah, Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. Okay then. Let's see what we got. We do of course have the medikits, which I'm gonna build two of. Because healing. So let's Commander to Mission Control. Commander okay. to Mission Control. The game is a little hand holdy at first, but it becomes much more free as you go along. So scan for activity. We've picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. So we can help France for engineers, we can help China for 200 bucks, or we can help South Africa for scientists. Yeah, France, here we come. And I think I might take all rookies again, just so we start building up two squads side by side. That way, a wounded person won't be as much of a problem. Anyway, let's go do it for this episode, I think. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, like, favorite, and subscribe, share it with others, and I hope to see you again next time for more XCOM Enemy Within.